marvelous. This is your first crossing, eh? Yes, how did you know? <laughs> I guess my enthusiasm gave me away. But you see, my husband and I flew over here, and then we've flown all over Europe, and we thought it would be nice, at least he suggested, that we take a boat home for a change. Oh, it was a splendid idea. He must be enjoying the trip. Uh. <laughs> you look much better this morning. Th thank you, dear. Could I just sit over here? Yeah. Thank you. Uh, uh, Stuart, Stuart, you don't go too far. I, I may need you for one of the pallbearers. <laughs> okay, Kathy, if I'm lucky, I'll die momentarily. Uh, you mean you still don't feel well? I haven't felt well since we got on this tugboat. <laughs> Four days already. You and your ideas, let's take the boat home. My ideas? You were the one that suggested it. Well, you picked a fine time to agree with me. <laughs> oh, Kathy, darling, promise me one thing. What? Don't let him bury me at sea. <laughs> oh, my stomach just couldn't stand the bobbing up and down. Uh, Pull yourself together and say hello to Mrs. Corey. Hello, Mrs. Corey. <laughs> A touch of mal de mer. Mal de mer? Mm -hmm. What are you talking about? I'm seasick. <laughs> Darling, I'm surprised. Actually, it's been a very smooth voyage. Smooth? You've been on the same ship I've been on? <laughs> it really has been a very smooth voyage. The last trip I took was really rough. Why, well, for three days, the ship did nothing but go up, down, up. <laughs> do that anymore. Oh, God, come on, put really? yourself together. Uh, He's not as sick as he thinks he is, really. I couldn't be. Take this really thing off and come on, stand up. You'll feel better. Come stay, on. Stay, stay close to me, dear. Yes, darling, Mother's right here. Okay, thank you, Mother. Actually, this sort of thing is largely psychological. Uh, it's all in your mind. In my mind? Well, that's not where I feel it. <laughs> Be seeing you around. Don't say around. <laughs> what was that? Oh, darling, that's the ship's horn. Oh, I thought it was another sick passenger. <laughs> uh, now put yourself together. Think uh, happy thought. Uh, I mean, think about Rusty and Linda rushing to greet us tomorrow when we arrive home. Yeah, I can just hear him. Here comes our beautiful mother and our green father. <laughs> Kathy, let's get off and walk the rest of the way. Oh. Maybe we could hitchhike on a seagull or something. Oh, honey, come on. We'll be in port tomorrow. Uh, you will, but I'll never make it. <laughs> Darling, now, why don't you stand up straight and take a nice deep breath? Come on. There. Let it out. Now, tell the truth. Don't you feel better already? Yeah, that's because of you. You're the best little nurse in the whole world. Lunch! Oh! oh you shouldn't have said that! Oh, shut up! And kids, hurry up and eat your lunch, because we're going to have to be at the dock any minute now. Charlie, honey, you can't go play golf. Now we have to be at the dock in a couple of minutes. I'm not playing golf. I'm putting Danny's clubs back in the closet. Oh. And what is with the right away with the big hurry? The boat isn't due for an hour yet. Well, honey, you know how the kids are. They're on pins and needles. They wanted to go down to the pier yesterday and camp overnight. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, I can't blame them. I got a few butterflies myself. <laughs> Charlie. What? Charlie, wait a minute. What? Wait, wait a minute. What is this? <laughs> you see, yeah, that's you see, that's Danny's special tranquilizer club. A tranquilizer club? Yeah. You see, every time you miss a shot, you bang the club against the nearest tree. You like that, yeah? Huh? It kind of lets everything out. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, I'll open the closet yeah. for you. Put it in here. Now, uh, did you check everything of ours in here and see that it was down the Yes, I did. I you did. You sure? I did. Is out now. I did. You know, somehow it, it seems funny, doesn't it? I mean, it's, it's all over so quick. Just, just like that. Honey, what are you 
What do you mean all over? Nothing is all over. We're going to be in the same building, just two floors below. I know, but it won't be the same. When you've been a mother and a father to those kids as long as we have, it's tough getting demoted back to aunt and uncle. Come <laughs> on, oh, Charlie. No, no, I, I mean, I mean it because after all those months of holding Linda on my knee, now I gotta turn in my lap. <laughs> kids are fickle. You know, they can like you one day and the next day you're nothing. Especially now that we're moving. <laughs> you know what they say? Out of sight, out of mind. Charlie, that is a lot of nonsense. Believe me. Yeah? Well, let me tell you. If you're not right here on the spot, giving them things like uh, a dime for some candy or a half a buck uh, to go to the movies, you're dead. And when their parents get home, when they get home, they're not even going to know we're alive. Believe me. And I don't blame them for that because, after all, they're not ours. You know, they're wonderful kids, and it's been wonderful taking care of them. And I just don't think they're gonna pay any attention to us anymore. Well, we're ready. Come on, let's go. Don't you talk to me, you ungrateful little monsters. <laughs> After the time we spent with you, the hours, the days, they're worrying when you were sick. Charlie. Dee Dee, they're just staying up nights helping you pull through. Charlie. What? They haven't been sick for one minute. <laughs> Well, if there were, we would have stayed up nights. <laughs> What's wrong with Uncle Charlie? Linda, dear, your Uncle Charlie thinks that as soon as we leave you, you and Russell are going to forget all about us. <laughs> oh, Aunt Bunny, I could never forget you. Mm -hmm. I could never forget you as long as I live. Neither could I. Mm -hmm. No, we, we just couldn't, that's all. You, 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 mean, you mean that? Of course we mean it, Uncle Charlie. You've been just swell to us, haven't they, kid? You sure have. And we love you. Well, there you see, you big baby. I'm sorry, I... Well, now, shall we go and welcome home the world travelers? Yes, 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 let's, let's go. go. Come on, Charlie. Oh, 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 oh you're here. Oh, 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 I'm glad that we were just going to go. Hey, boys. Hey, what happened, you guys? We were just going to go down to the boat to meet you. Well, the boat docked early, and we didn't want to waste a minute getting home. Yeah, I wanted to get away from that water. Oh, why? Well, well your, your mom was seasick all the way. Minute. Let's get this straight. Now, Clancy, wait, take it easy. No, you don't have to apologize. After all, it's perfectly natural to get seasick. I mean, after all, it's uh, nothing to apologize about. A frail little creature, you know. Well, you ought to know, Moby Dick. <laughs> you look great, son. You're Stand up to where I can look at you. Tell me, how are you and what have you been doing? Oh, never mind. Let, let me just look at you. Oh, Dad. Hey, now, Mom. Oh, they've grown so much. <laughs> what, did you expect them to shrink? <laughs> oh, I don't know. They're just beautiful. Both of them. <laughs> oh, Mother. Oh, Isn't she sweet? It's such a sentimental. I, uh, I guess we better be going. <laughs> yeah, we, we gotta get ourselves settled, too, you know. We hey, to Dad. Well. Want to see a picture of me with Mickey Mantle? Mickey Mantle? Yeah, no, yeah, Chick. Yeah. What do you got? Yeah, 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 did you meet him, buddy? Oh, oh yes. Yeah. You know, uh, I took that picture. Yeah. I took it, yeah. I, in fact, uh, I invited the players down to the club so Rusty could meet the boys. But the Rusty and the, uh, oh, no, it was nothing. Huh? Yes. Now, listen, you, you all go ahead and talk. Oh, look at that old Yeah, man. we'll run along. So don't, don't bother to see us to the door. No, you know. <laughs> no, not so. <laughs> Wait, where, where's the leads? Oh, she had to visit her sister in Ohio. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, Mommy, I'm so glad you're back. You're prettier than ever. Oh, that's my sweet. Well, what about me? Oh, you're pretty, too, Dad. <laughs> Look, wise guy, just because you grew an inch doesn't mean I can't handle you, though. <laughs> Come on, let's put our things away. All right, yeah. you can help it. I'll take this stuff. Oh, can you handle it by yourself? Yeah. Look at him, huh? <laughs> Regular fullback here. Yeah. Go ahead, son. Hey. What? Bunny and Charlie, what happened? Oh, they must have left. They sure left in a big hurry. Oh, well, I guess you can't blame them. After taking care of our monsters all these months, I guess they just couldn't wait to get off by themselves. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. Oh, darling, isn't it wonderful to be home? <sighs> oh, you, you shouldn't have done that. <laughs> well, 
when shadows fall and trees whisper days and my thoughts are ever wending home. When crickets call, my heart is forever yearning once more to be returned home. When the hills can see the setting sun. Begin the peaking one by one, and the night covers all. And though fortune may forsake me, sweet dreams will ever take me. Great, well, Dad. Thank you very much, oh, Minnie. Oh, that was wonderful. Would you like it, darling? Hey, let's do a fun song. How about... All right, together? Right. Oh, oh, McDonald had a fun Mommy, oh, you play right. it. You play it. Okay. You play it. I want to be the chick-chick. <laughs> right. I'll be the duck. And I'll be the dog. And Mommy can be the cow. Yeah. The cow? <laughs> Why do I always have to be the cow? Oh, what's the difference? Go ahead and play. Come on, play. Hey, wait, wait, wait. wait. Hold it. Wow, look who's here. Well, where did you disappear to? What happened to you guys? We were looking all over for you. Well, we thought you might want to be alone, talk a little bit. You know, we tried to say goodbye, but there was a lot of hugging and kissing going hugging. on. You know, kissing. Yeah, kissing. Yeah, I, uh, I guess we did get a little corny there, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. A little homey so love scene. Nice. <laughs> well, come on, sit down for a Thank minute. Thank you. Tell me, are you all settled in your new apartment? Yes, uh-huh. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, we're, we're just two floors below you. Just two floors. Two yes, floors. isn't that wonderful? Just two floors below, so we can always be together, you know, and any time you want to go away and leave the kids with us, that's perfectly all right. Oh, <laughs> well, we won't be doing that for a long time. We've had enough of that. Yeah. You've heard of the untouchables? From now on, we're the inseparables. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, after all, we got a lot of togetherness to catch up on. I've got a wonderful idea. That is, if it's okay with Uncle Charlie. Wah, 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 wah. Well? How about we go on a holiday together? Yeah! Oh, boy! Huh? Yeah. Yeah. You mean it's all right to postpone my opening at the club for a week? Yeah, for a holiday together? You bet! Right. Okay, then it'll be just the four of us. Kathy and Russ and Linda and I will go off somewhere together. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, where will we go? Oh, there's a travel book here in the drawer. Travel we'll book? That'll give us that. some ideas, yeah. won't it? Hey, how yeah. about a cabin in the mountains? Yeah, yeah, you and I can go hunting yeah. and fishing. That's like we right. Used to. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun? That'll be oh, great. Oh, the water skiing. Water skiing, that'll be wonderful. Bananas, look at birds talking. I've got a million things to talk to. Hey, how about this? I have a million things to talk to. How about this? The Big Muzz Ranch. Hiya, honey. What are you doing? Oh, hi, uh, dear. I'm watching TV. Yeah. I mean, we got along without them before. We can get along without them now. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, who needs them? Mm. It's, it's peaceful this way. No kids yelling. I can read my magazine, and you can watch your television program. Right. That's the way I like it. Like the good old days. Then you aren't upset, Charlie? Not a bit. Your magazine's upside down, Charlie. <laughs> oh. Mm. Oh. Bunny. Mm. The set isn't turned on. <laughs> Charlie, we are just not acting like grown-ups, honey. We are not being slighted, Charlie. Let's look at the facts. A family has been reunited after a long separation, right? right? And they are having so much fun being reunited that they just can't think of anybody else for the moment. Now, is that so unnatural? No. No, when, when, you, when you put it that way, I, 
I can understand. Of course, darling. Of course. Doggone it, we aren't being slighted. No, I I guess not. No, of course not. And and as soon as, as they all get unwound and everything, well, it'll, it'll be just like it always was. The the Williams and the Halpers, one big happy family, huh? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I guess I must have been going off half cocked. <laughs> you know, I I do that once in a while. <laughs> I'd noticed. Yeah. <laughs> I can't help it. I got active little glands. <laughs> hey, what? Charlie, I just got an idea. Yeah? Why don't I call Danny and Kathy and invite them down here for a welcome home dinner, huh? Bonnie, you got a head on your shoulders. Well, it kind of helps to round out the body. <laughs> <laughs> now, Gertie, uh, uh, g give me the Williams apartment. Honey, by now, they're probably all talked out, you know, and we'll tell them come down here where they can talk about Europe and everything. Yeah. Hello, Kathy Bunn. Hey, uh, listen, Ch Charlie and I were sitting around talking, and, I, and, and we thought it would be a wonderful idea for, for you and Danny and the kids to come down here, and we'll have kind of a, a welcome home supper. You know, nothing fancy or yeah. special. I'll just throw a little something in the <laughs> oven, and, and then we could... Well, it'd be like old times, the six of us together, and we could sit around and talk, yeah. and you can tell <laughs> us about you. Mm -hmm. Oh? Oh, well, sure. Well, sh sure we understand. Oh, well, sure. Some other night. Yeah. Okay, well, bye, Kathy. That was an idea that died in a hurry. They don't, they don't, they don't, they don't want to come? Oh, sure, sure, dear, but, but some other night. They kind of want a chance to get reacquainted, you know, how that is. Yeah, oh, yeah, I, I, I know how that is. You can't blame them. No. Yeah. Matter of fact, it's, it's kind of a good thing that they, they, they couldn't come down and join us, Charlie, because this gives us a good chance to get Reacquainted. Yeah, this is a good chance. <laughs> no, I mean, it, it, it isn't often we get a, a chance to sit around with a nice, quiet evening like this. <laughs> no, never like that. Give us a, a chance to do all the things we used to do before. Yeah, it gives us a swell chance. Yeah. <laughs> I'll get the checkers. Funny. What, dear? We never played checkers before. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Hmm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> well, I mean, Charlie, who needs them? Who needs them? Funny, funny. Mm. The magazine's upside down. <laughs> Charlie, you didn't turn the set on. Oh. Wait a minute. You mean to tell me they didn't say one word about dropping in on them later? No, not a word. How do you like that? How, after taking care of their kids for, for months, not so much as one little thank you. Mm -mm. I tell you, if I ever see them again, it'll be, it'll be too soon. Mm. Charlie. Charlie, I just remembered something. What? Maybe they didn't give Linda her vitamin pills. <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, that, that could be very serious. A little girl not taking her vitamin pills. Yeah. Uh, Charlie, may maybe I I'd better go right up there and see if she took her pills? Yeah, and, and I'll go along to make sure you make sure that she makes sure to take it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Follow me, Charlie. Yeah. <laughs> what, what? What? What is it? What? What are you doing? Charlie, we are grasping at straws. Well, I... I Charlie, come on, let's be sensible. I don't want to be sensible. I'm... I'm lonesome. <laughs> I know, dear. Bunny, mm -hmm. why don't you call your dear mother and ask her to pay us a visit? <laughs> you are actually asking me to ask my mother to pay us a visit? Well, at, at least it would break the silence. <laughs> Oh, boy, would it break the silence. <laughs> surprise dinner with you in your apartment. That's why I couldn't accept your invitation. That's right. When you called, we'd already planned to come down here. What could be more perfect than dinner with our best friends on our first night home? Right. Well, well that, that's, uh, that's, that's, uh, that's about the sweetest thing I ever did here. <laughs> What's sweet about it? After all, the least we could do is give you a thank you dinner. Thank you? For what? Well, for all you've been doing for us while we were away. Oh, you don't have to thank us. <laughs> Charlie, 
Anybody who could take care of Linda and me for six months deserves at least a thank you party. <laughs> Nobody could have taken better care of us than you. Uh, uh, darling, we enjoyed every moment of it. <laughs> and in case you don't know it, you've been officially adopted into this family. <laughs> and guess whose idea that was? Mine. Uh, whose idea? Mine. No, Linda, it was my idea. It was mine, Rusty. It was my idea, Linda. Rusty, it was mine. It was mine. You Linda. weren't a girl. I was... You dare touch me and I'll bend your nose like Daddy's. Here! <laughs> Please don't stop them. They were playing our songs. <laughs> Here they come. Okay, Kathy, play now, now. Consider yourself at home. Consider yourself one of the family. We've taken to you so strong. It's clear we're going to get along. Consider yourself well in. <laughs> Consider yourself part of the furniture. There isn't a lot to spare. Who cares what ever we got we share? If, if it's a chance to be, we should see some harder days. Empty larder days. Why, grouse? Always a chance we'll meet somebody to put the bill. Then the drinks are on the house. Consider yourself our mates. We don't want to have no fuss. For after some consideration, we can stay. Consider yourself one of us. If it's a chance to be, we should see some harder days. Empty larder days. Why grouse? Always a chance we'll meet somebody to put the bill. Then the drinks are on the house. Consider yourself our mate. We don't want to have no fuss. For after some consideration, we can stay. Consider yourself, city yourself, city yourself. We've got to have a toast to our friendship. Oh, no, come on, so Charlie, help pass out the bag. Children, thank you, children, Charles. here thank is you. some homogenized champagne. Oh, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> thank you, darling. Well, please, may I propose a toast? To the six of us. To, to the, the six, six of us. Mm. And I would like to say, my dear brother helpers, that we have included you in our little holiday. We're all going together. How about Aww. that? That's a wonderful idea. <laughs> I tell you, we'll have to think about it. Uh, <clears throat> we thought about it. We'll go. <laughs> Good. To the six of us. To the six, six of us. us. Where will it be? The mountains? Oh, uh, yeah. I like that. Yeah. 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 What's the matter, Charlie? It, it, too high, the altitude, you know, I, I can't take. Oh, oh it's good. Well, uh, we could just go somewhere out in the country. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the place in the country, that'd be great. A little cabin or something, what? What's the matter? I don't like the country, you know, the grass, the flowers, the oh. fellow with hay fever. It's... Oh. <laughs> See, no mountains, no country. Well, I guess I leave the seashore. Yeah. Look at that fun in the oh, seashore. Yeah. Yeah. Well, should I no good? I can't swim. Johnny, <laughs> what are we going to do? Only one thing we can do. What? To the five of us. To the, to the five, five of us! us. <laughs>